This is the story of this locomotive. I hope you enjoy. Early in the 1900s, steam locomotives were the king of the railways in Japan. Many majestic iron horses worked hard night and day, and they were the symbol of the modernization. In 1907, to improve the efficiency of transportation, many private railways in Japan were nationalized, and the Japanese Government Railway, or JGO in short, expanded the business. As the travel demand got increased at that time, The new nationalized railway focused on building practical passenger locomotives. Ever since the first steam locomotive, Class 860, was entirely built in Japan in 1893, many types of engines had produced domestically. Still, most of them were just mere copies of British or American predecessors. As the Japanese locomotive engineering skill was still in its infancy at that time, JGR was desperate to build a world-class standard locomotive to provide efficient passenger services. The first passenger locomotive, Class 6700, was built entirely domestically in 1909. With a 5 feet and 3 inch diameter driving wheels, the steam engine had a decent tractive effort, however, It was still not ideal for pulling the passenger service on the main line. Later in 1911, one of the pivotal moments in Japanese railway history came. JGO imported 20 number of Class 8800 large passenger locomotives from Germany. They were allocated to the mainline express service from Tokyo to Shimonoseki, and the people were marveled at the attractive performance of the German locomotive. The success of the imported locomotives gave a huge inspiration to the Japanese railway men. Tsudayasu and Ikemura Tomizaburo, the locomotive superintendents of the JGR at that time, designed an innovative 260 locomotive. With incorporating the size of driving wheels and cylinders of Class 8800, Class 8620 was born. The leading wheel of the locomotive was partially designed by Shima Yasujiro. Whose son Shima Hideo supported the high-speed train project in the 1960s, but that will be another story. The prototype of the class emerged from the workshop in May 1914, and 18 of them were built in the same year. Most of the new class 8620 locomotives were allocated to the express duty on the main line and reached 45 miles per hour top speed. Although class 8800 could run faster with 50 miles per hour. The coal consumption of the new locomotive was lower and more economical than German predecessor, due to the increased number of tubes in the boiler. While the locomotive was initially intended to pull the mainline express services, due to its flat culture, some of them were also allocated to the suburban passenger trains. Around the same time, Class 9600, the goods engine, was designed and built domestically in 1913. Both 8620 and 9600 became the first standardized locomotives in Japan and set the benchmark for the foreign steam locomotive engineering until the 1950s. Since 1914, 672 of the class were cranked out in total by the five major locomotive works, including Hitachi and Kawasaki, for over the two decades. Some of them were even shipped to Taiwan and Sakhalin, which were under the rule of Imperial Japan at that time. Despite the tropical or frigid climate, the locomotive demonstrated its versatility and supported the lives of Japanese settlers. Around the 1930s, the modern steam engines like C58 took over the works of the senior class 6700 and 8800 locomotives. But thanks to its compact size and being easy to handle, many of 8620s were kept operational on the small branch lines for handling both goods and passenger services. But in the 1940s, during the war, the number of passenger services declined, and JGR became in charge of hauling the evacuation train and military supplies. From 1942, as the U.S. Air Raids destroyed the track and the railway facilities. Many railwaymen stood the test of time with the minimum resources until the end of the war. While more than 800 steam locomotives were attacked and damaged, 
637 of Class 8620s had survived and been operational until 1955. But since the 1950s, the modernization became the main concern of the Japanese National Railway, the successor of the previous JGO. The throne of the passenger services was given to the new diesel and electric trains, and most of the A620s and other steam locomotives were withdrawn and scrapped from the end of the 50s. Surprisingly, however, some of them were still operational even after the introduction of the bullet trains. The last survivor of the class, number 58654, had handled slow goods service on one of the small branch lines in Kyushu Island. While the people at that time were intoxicated with Queen, the unsung hero of the railway had worked alone until its final day in 1975. But her retirement did not end the legacy of this good old-fashioned locomotive. Twenty of the class were preserved, and two of them have been operational. Number 8630 was purchased by Umekoji Steam Museum in Kyoto in 1972. Ever since she came to the museum, the locomotive has experienced several overhauls and pulled a train on the museum's demonstration line, among other preserved steam engines. Another operational 8620 is 58654, the last survivor of its kind, which was saved from scrap by the small group of railway enthusiasts. After the privatization of JNL in 1987, JR Kyushu inherited this steam locomotive and her overhaul was commenced in the same year. However, the huge obstacle was the locomotive's corrupted boiler. To bring the old iron horse back to life, Nippon Steel managed to replicate her boiler from scratch. This was such a great feat because only a few workshops in the world so far can manufacture a real steam locomotive boiler. With her brand new boiler and cab, the locomotive returned on track in 1988. 58654 was given three special coaches and delegated to Bo Asoboy Express, the mainline steam excursion train in Kyushu Island. She occasionally wore a dark green livery to look like a fancy British steam engine and became one of the iconic preserved steam locomotives in Japan. 58654 was sadly withdrawn from service in 2005 due to the corrosion of its frame. The incipient locomotive was never thought to return but the workshop managed to replicate her new frame from scratch in 2007. With its boiler and tender got refurbished, 58654 returned to the main line in 2009. Since then, the Garant locomotive has in charge of Hitoyoshi the excursion train for over a decade. In 2020, the film of Demon Slayer featured one of the Class A620s, and in the same year, 58654 on a special train with a new headboard, resembling the locomotive in the movie. The crowd gathered along the line side to see the running of the almost 100 years old locomotive, the survivor against all odds. The age of steam has gone in Japan, but the ethos of the golden age of the railway still lives on.